just sat through a really gay train ride, and now we're, uh... We're still we, on a train. We, the nigga with the condom we're, on his no, head. No, we're still on the train, but we got oh, it done wait. now. But now there's two people row, and he gave up. Yeah, he's too tired. Well, like, oh. <laughs> he was just <laughs> like, Keep rowing, you bitch! I got a gun to your head. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him. Bust a cap in his bitch ass. What happened to do with the condom on his head? I don't know. This, the fucking Both silver of them bullet. Have oh. Oh, dude, it's a big daddy. Hey, what's happening to me? Oh my what? god. Oh, is everyone dying? What the fuck? Artyom, what is it? Oh my god, what is. Alright. I mean, I know you told me the intro to this is slow, but Jesus Christ. Are, is, are, is there something starting now? Like, is this gonna the be the game? Still haven't, like, yeah. hasn't kicked in the gear yet. Look, Before dude. Before it was just like the prologue. Now we actually get to like move around and. Shit. Now here's the prolapse. <laughs> this is the part where our assholes fly out of our body. Oh, dude, it's a Sam Squanch. No, it's a Saskatchewan. That nigga has fingers. Ah, oh, dude, I am scared. No, he has three fingers and a thumb. It's like we're, so we're are you in fighting to survive because supposedly, uh, like the next evolution of humans or whatever is going to like take over. That's out there is just going to wipe us out. Oh, so Homo sapiens sapiens. Sure. Why did why did his uh no we're Homo sap we're Homo sapiens sapiens. What? We're homosexual sexuals. Uh, there are some scientists that actually consider our step in humanity to be Homo sapiens sapiens, hmm. as opposed to just the normal Homo sapiens. So, a step give beyond. us a couple centuries and we'll be Homo sapiens sapiens. sapiens. Yeah. Homo Homo sapiens we'll sapiens. We'll be Homo cubed. We'll be Homo cubed. Homo squared sapiens squared. Wow. Oh, dude, spoopy tree. Everybody got their dick sucked. Wait. And he's the only one Wait, that's I'm getting confused. back to work. So was it basically just? Oh, we were all knocked okay. out. Well, okay. better get back to rowing. I don't know. I think There's it was parts where like radiation is like really high. Yeah, but like, all right. Well, you know, I was talking to a guy. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, the Sam squanches—they're taking all your friends. Kill him before he takes your friends, dude. I oh, I have no more gun. You have no more gun or no more bullets. No more gun. There's not <laughs> enough gun juice. Is here. everyone dead now? Because you're a fucking retard. Rip his mouth. Oh, dude, that shit. was very uh, that was very uh, oh. interactive. I was talking to a guy. Who who legitimately thinks that CERN is trying to open up a black hole so that we can go to another dimension and steal their resources? You know that's actually a, no, 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 a another widely alternate, accepted theory. An alternate universe. Yeah, I know, but that's like a widely accepted theory, which is stupid. Oh, that's what do you mean? I that uh, that once we do find a way to open the portal, we're going to use the other world for resources. No, but we're not, they're not opening, they're not making wormholes, they're making black holes, right? Yeah. And black holes are Black holes don't lead to anything. It's just well, a place somewhere. where... No! A black hole is a place where mass is compressed into a single point. If you go to a black hole, you're going to be crushed down, basically. Right, but if it's at a point, if it... Black hole is like a point where light cannot escape, and like... Light and time are related. So if light can't escape, do you like do you really disappear? Yeah. Because at a point, once you get yeah, to you the do. center, time does just, not stop. Did you just die right. because you had one hand on the controller and you were talking to me instead of no, playing the it's game? A cut scene. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a butt scene. Well, well, like a black hole is like an object. The thing is, one if you uh, in theory, if you go into a black hole in quotation marks. Uh, you just what stop. No, like, no, no, no. What happens stop. is you be you you're disassembled, like on a molecular level. You're like ripped apart. That, like what people will see happening is like you'll slowly move towards the center of the black hole, and, and then you'll just stay there forever. Yeah. That's what people outside will see. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? Right. That's because. That's because I'm, light I'm can't confused. escape. It. Why are you jerking me off? <laughs> because. <laughs> That's Jerking I, me off is not the answer to black holes. That's what I know best, James. You know that. That's the only thing you know. What do you not understand about that? I'm confused. What do you? Because because like, time like are proportional. The closer you get to the speed of light, the slower time goes. Yeah. So if in a, in a black hole, time like light cannot escape, 
what happens to time it also has to slow down so really once you get to the center of it you really don't go anywhere you just stuck there indefinitely are you yeah. sentient? Am I sentient? No, I no, mean, no. I mean, like, in a black hole, do you think... If I mean, stops, I don't know. Well, I mean, wouldn't you be technically ripped apart anyway? Well, like, I mean, it would... Think everything would be going so slow, like, you well, just wouldn't... Your you'd brain... be, like, stuck at the same moment of perception, like, forever. Yeah, because, exactly, it's essentially dying. Well, yeah. now, yeah, it's essentially yeah. dying. Like, it, that's not a secret. I mean, if... It's like when time goes slower, your perception doesn't change. Like, uh, that experiment where they send that, they have two twins and they send one off into space and he comes back and, and his twin is aged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, he doesn't perceive, like, the time still moving normally on Earth. He's just in his own thing. I don't know. Hmm. He perceives it at the rate that, you know, his life is... Yeah, he exactly. He perceives it at the rate that time is passing for him. What the fuck is this? I think it... Really awkward titties. You know Thinking what? <laughs> <Russian girl. laughs> this nigga's eyes, one's on you and one was on the titties. <laughs> He's got He's a titty cross -eyed. Look at him. That reminds me, uh... I think it was Naruto that, like... He poisoned wow. the guy. Oh, John. Don't you watch Naruto? No. Dragon no, Ball he Z watched Light Inuyasha. Yeah, oh, dude. what about you, James? Did you watch yeah, Naruto? Yeah, I watched like... Oh, do you remember in Naruto, the thing is, I, I never watched it. Someone told me about this, but apparently, I think it was Naruto where like a guy poisoned another guy, right? One of the characters poisoned another guy, but the poison for like kind of like slows down time for that person. So slow... That every second is like a thousand years. Do you remember that? I don't recall that Can actually. It must be a please? different thing. Hmm. Thought it was an Naruto. Oh, I'm losing. It might be bullets. Bleach actually. This sounds more like a Bleach thing. I don't know. So, but well, apparently there's a character that Yay. is stuck with this poison for like million perceptually like in his brain for millions and millions of years. Oh god, is this, this is, is this really this is bad? Hilarious. For millions of years, and he goes insane, right. but like decides to not be insane and comes back as a character that's like super powerful or something. That sounds like a bleach thing, definitely. All right, I, I'm ready to hear the voice acting. Hey, there's a man at the black street waiting for you. What the fuck? How old is this nigga supposed to be? He's wearing rain boots. He's like five. But he sounds like... What happened? Like, just listen to <laughs> If he's, like, you give him nothing. Okay, find him yourself then. And you are really greedy. <laughs> <laughs> and you are really a greedy. <laughs> Excuse oh. me? What? How old was he supposed to be? I don't know. It sound like a, like, a husky woman. Every... <laughs> It sounded like a husky woman was talking. Child is literally like the same voice actor. It's really weird. Like, I feel like I was being badmouthed by an old gypsy woman. Hmm. James, you were. And you are really point. a greedy. And you are a really a greedy. She put a, she what's put that, a curse on you. What's that one, uh... It's a death curse. What's that one movie where the lady gets cursed by a gypsy or something? Drag she, me to hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Where she didn't help her with her money or whatever. Yeah. Even though technically that's not her fault. You know, I mean, her job, it's not her job to do that. I just stole that man's bullets. Yeah, she was sort of just doing her job, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. I, I always hated movies like that where there's supposed to be, like, some message, but, like, in the end, it's if you look at it objectively, they're just kind of doing their job. Like, Ferris Bueller, like, everyone hates the principal because it's just like, yeah, the principal's such a dick and stuff. And it's just like, he's just trying to make sure Ferris goes to school. Yeah, in a way, it's actually quite touching when you find out in the behind the scenes that he molested him. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 kind of, it's quite touching, it's, literally. It's heart <laughs> Because he touched him as a kid. Yeah. He touched his heart. With his He's been touching Ferris since uh, kindergarten. He wants him to show Wait. up for his touch sessions every, every day. Wait, was the guy that was the principal in Ferris Bueller also Willy Wonka? Because they look exactly the same. 
I don't remember what the principal looks like, honestly. He looks exactly like Willy Wonka. I swear like, to God, he is. Like old Willy Wonka, yeah. not the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka. I hated that one. Alright, are you so ready weird. or are you not ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? Sitting in this crap hole is useless. Sitting in this, is useless. Sitting in this fucking this asshole is pretty <laughs> jewful. Is that, a, is that a paint can? So in this game, they use like bullets, like also as really, currency. Really, they use bullets? I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> like, as currency. Wait, right. bullets is currency. Yeah, because it's like you need to defend yourself so, so much that it's basically like if I this is like a rare thing now. So if I shoot someone, I'm actually gracing them with money, right? I mean, if so you if think I about it like if that. I fill, if I pump a kid full of lead, I'm actually donating to them. Exactly. So you can't be too mad at me, right? His no, parents you, are just like, oh, cool. You ordered him a chili dog, right? Yeah, you got him chili dog full of lead. A chili dog. Yeah, exactly. Chili, chili dog. Oh, while I was in Illinois, uh, I I randomly was like. Um, I was like, well, you can't be too mad because you bought me a chili dog. And this one guy was like, oh, hello, Sonic. And then I was like, yeah, that was the reference. And he was like, wait, you were actually referencing Sonic? Way past cool. Did he actually say that? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Were you like, did you tell him to kill himself immediately? Yeah, and he did. Good. Well, uh, actually, he would have told you to kill yourself because you were referencing it. Oh, man, the lights went out. That's good. Oh. I recanted how I told that <laughs> I started up a conversation with that girl on OKCupid, but I was like, you can't be too bad because you ordered me a chili. Yeah. And she just Wait, like, you recanted it? Would you like come back, go back and no, no, just, no, like, no, no. Like, on the show? I recanted it on the show. Oh, no, about. no, that's what I said. I was like, I, I brought it up to John. I was just like, wait a minute. Like, right after that episode, I was just like, you know, I thought I heard that story already. <laughs> hey. Did you know that uh, I opened up a conversation with you all on OkCupid by uh, saying uh, <laughs> you, kill you. you can't be too mad because you ordered me a That's how you dog. open up the conversation. You, you message her. You're just like, I'm going to fucking kill you. So you she was just like, I don't I don't feel safe. And you were just like, I can make you feel safe. By killing you. With my cock. <laughs> I could kill you. With my with, cock. With uh, dick. What the fuck? It's pretty brutal. Brutal. It's fucking brutal. Eat the flesh. Eat the flesh. My yeah, ass, get that cannibalism ass. perk going on. <laughs> Suck my ass. <laughs> Suck my ass. Oh, uh, dude, there were, there were bats. Did you see that? It's spoopy because there were bats. You're getting radiated. Your mom's getting radiated. All right. If well, I was getting radiated, I would feel it in the controller. <laughs> They're trying really? to extend this, the experience to the physical world by Whoa. making a reaction happen in the real world that I can feel with my physical body that's also happening in the game. Yeah, they call it the Nerf Gear. It's called Rumble what? Controller Vibration. It's called, it's called Rumble Still Skin it's Vibration. Called, it's called Rumble Foreskin. It's called <laughs> Rumble X Roses. What? It's that called School game. Rumble. It's called, yeah, it's called School Rumble. It's that. Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. X fucking uh, excuse me. Bug train. Wow. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Ooh, you're just fucking dumb. Swiggity swooty. He's fucking I'm hot chicks. For that and basically, mechanics. you're just fucking stupid. You getting bugs hey, all over you, dude? Man. You got bugs on your eyeballs. What? Would you like to? Would you like to touch his blood? Let me touch those nuts. Oh, I don't want to go over there. There's traps. There's trap -aroonies. What you got there, booty? He's got a harmonica. They don't have harmonica. Is that a paper Russia. airplane? Yeah. What? Is that a collectible? They don't have harmonica in Russia. Yeah, they do. FPS Russia here to shoot the harmonica for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Next time on April Brigade, we shoot a harmonica. I FPS haven't seen any Russia. shooting yet. I think this is uh, this is really Bioshock, Renato. This is really Bioshock. It's Bioshock, but cooler. It's Bioshock with.